As you can see, I'm playing the one block sky block for Minecraft. This is a sky block within Minecraft 1.21.3. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to download this map and how to set it up so you can start playing one block sky block within Minecraft 1.21.3. Let's go ahead and get started. The first step to install this sky block for Minecraft 1.21.3 is to click the second link in the description, which is gonna bring you over here to our written guide on how to download and install this map. Now, if you don't wanna read through the whole thing and look at the screenshots, all you have to do is just scroll down to step one and hit download. That is going to redirect you over here where you're going to see all the versions that you have for this one block original. Now I want you to pay attention because this following part is really important. You're gonna head over to the game versions in here and you're going to look for 1.21.3, but you might be surprised to see that there is not 1.21.3 here. However, there is 1.21 and that is not a problem because 1.21 is 100% compatible with Minecraft 1.21.3. So yes, we're going to use the 1.21 version for Minecraft 1.21.3 and we're not going to have any issues as you will see in this video. Now, you will also see that you have the hardcore version if you were to play hardcore and you also have the original one, which is the regular game mode. In this video, I'm going to download the regular game mode. And if you want to download the same one as me, all you have to do is click on these three dots in here and then hit download file. If you want the hardcore, do the same thing, but for the hardcore one, just make sure the game version is 1.21 and then hit download file and within five seconds, the file will begin downloading. And I know a lot of you want to play this world with your friends. And if that's the case, just click on the first link in the description and you can set up this world using Apex Housing. And not only would you get 25% off this server that you will create with Apex Housing, but you could also play a bunch of other game modes, like for example, over 200 mod packs with just a click of a button. Apex Housing has locations all around the world, so you don't have to worry about bad internet connection or anything like that. And they also host the servers online, so you don't have to keep your computer on or pour forward your IP address or anything like that to have your friends join your world. Something I personally love about Apex Housing, besides all the advantages that they provide you with, is that you could actually create the server and then access the server console through your phone, meaning that you could be away from the house and stuff and you could still kick people out, change the settings of your server, change the weather or whatever you want to do. It is your server after all. You can do all of that through your phone. Click that first link for 25% off when creating your first server with Apex Housing. And now let's keep going with the tutorial. After we finish downloading our file, we're going to go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop. And it should be a zip file, as you can see here. It's just a regular zip file. And if you have Windows 10 or Windows 11, you don't have to worry about this being a zip file because Windows 10 and Windows 11 already comes with an install tool or pre-install tool that will let you open these zip files. However, if that's not the case for you, I'm going to leave this guide in the description on how to download and install WinRar. WinRar is going to let you open this zip file so you could extract them and access the content of the zip files easily. Anyways, most of you will be able to open this zip file. The next step will be to add this world into the game. How do you do that? You might wonder. Just go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. If you don't have the Minecraft launcher installed and you open Minecraft through a different way, just find the installation folder for Minecraft. But if you have the Minecraft launcher or maybe some other launcher, it doesn't have to be the regular Minecraft launcher. As long as you have a launcher that lets you find your installation folder, then you're good. Now to find the installation folder of Minecraft, we're going to head over to installations right here on the top and we're going to find that latest release. We're going to hover over it and we're going to click on this folder. This is the installation folder of Minecraft. Mine open over here on the other monitor, but here it is. This is the installation folder of Minecraft. This is the folder that we need to add the one block into Minecraft. Now within this folder, we're going to look for another folder called saves. As you can see, I have my saves folder right here. If for whatever reason, you don't have the saves folder, which it will be weird if you don't, but if you don't, you could create it yourself. You could just right click, hit new, and then name it saves, right? Just like that. Now go ahead and open that saves folder app. And on the other side of your screen, I want you to go ahead and open that zip file that you have in here. You could extract it first or you could just open it right away if you have Windows 11 or some of you in Windows 10 might be able to do this as well. Now you see that the content of this zip file is another folder called one block original. Go ahead and open that folder app and you'll see all these things in here, all these files. If you find this folder, if you locate this folder that has all these files in it, then you know you have the right folder. And I want you to go ahead and drag and drop that one block original folder into the saves folder over here for Minecraft, right? Now, it is very important that you understand this part. Do not drag and drop the zip file. Do not extract the zip file and then put it in there. It has to be the folder within the zip file, meaning that whenever you open that world folder, it has to have all these files inside. So if you put a folder over here and when you open that folder, it doesn't have all these files, you did it wrong. It has to have all these files in here. So it's super easy to do. All you have to do is drag and drop it from over here. If you're using WinRar, you could always just right click on this zip file and then just hit extract and then that folder that you extract, put it into your saves folder. Now let's go ahead and wait for this to finish. And after a couple seconds, we already got this folder over here. You could name this folder whatever you want. So like for example, I'm going to name mine one block 1.21.3. So once I'm inside the game, I know which folder I need or which world I need to play, right? But if you open this folder, you will see that you have all the contents that you need to play that one block sky block again. Extremely important that when you open this folder, you have this in there and not some other folder. Okay, let's go ahead and close this 
folder now and let's go ahead and head back into the Minecraft launcher and launch Minecraft. You can play regular Minecraft or you can play modded Minecraft or you can play Minecraft with shaders. Whatever the case might be, make sure you play the 1.21.3, right? So let's go ahead and play the latest release in this case. Now, once the world open, we're going to go ahead and test out our new map. To do so, head over to single player and scroll down in here until you see that one block sky block 1.21.3 as you can see right here there is the name of that folder that we named earlier within the saves folder and you should have something similar in your game now you could just go ahead and hit play and you'll be launching to your single player one block sky block if you want to play multiplayer remember you need to create a server for that and you could do so using apex hosting they actually support custom maps like for example this one actually let me know down in the comments if you would like to see a video on how to turn this world into a multiplayer server it's extremely easy but now we're inside the one block sky block and as you can see as soon as you start breaking down blocks and stuff and that's just a weird uh, point of view as soon as you start breaking blocks you start getting that progress you'll start advancing through this game mode it's actually really really fun to play and that is pretty much it guys how to install the one block sky block for minecraft 1.21.3 if this video helped you don't forget to subscribe and as always bye bye